Hey you guys, welcome to the video. Thank you so much for watching. Today I am sharing a fridge and a pantry deep clean and organization. So I'm kicking this video off with my fridge. It's kind of hard to see how gross the shelves in my fridge actually are, but maybe you can see it a little bit. And I specifically wanted to point out all the milk crusties in the corner of the milk shelf. <laughs> So obviously I am starting by completely emptying the fridge out. This is actually one of those chores that I absolutely dread doing. I hate doing this. I usually try to do it at least once a year. That probably sounds gross, but that is the truth. And I don't mean like throwing away food. I mean pulling out the shelves and cleaning them. So I'm starting with the shelves at the top and I filled up my kitchen sink with hot soapy water and I am just using my scrub daddy sponge to clean these glass shelves. I'm kind of just working through my fridge section by section. So I'm starting with the main interior and then I'm going to do the doors. As the first set of shelves are drying after being washed, I'm pulling out the rest of the interior shelves and completely wiping down the inside. I even pulled out my little handy vac to get a bunch of the crumbs at the bottom. I used a microfiber cloth first to really get all of like the sticky spills out of there and then I went back in with a paper towel and some surface cleaner and I put that first set of shelves back in there as soon as I could so I could put any food that would be quick to spoil back in the fridge so like meat and dairy Now I am washing the next set of shelves, the, the two really big shelves in the fridge. The glass actually pops right out, so I did that and washed the glass separately. These large pieces are definitely cumbersome to wash in the kitchen sink. I swear the last time I was doing this, I thought about how I should do it on a nice day outside with the hose like when i'm washing my car or something that would probably be a lot easier than trying to do it in the kitchen sink and when i started putting my food back in the fridge i did rearrange the shelves a little bit differently this time i actually ended up completely removing one of them to make a little bit more space for taller items doing a little bit of decluttering. I did not go and buy any new organization storage bins. I pulled these two gold wire baskets out of my stash. They are from the Dollar Tree and I just decided to use them for my apples and clementine oranges. And I am plenty aware that my fridge is pretty bare bones. We have a two person household so it's usually pretty low stocked anyway. So now that the main interior of the fridge was done, I am moving on to the door storage. So again, completely emptying everything out and popping out the little holders. I went through a bunch of the old condiments and sauces and things that were in the doors and threw out anything that was expired.
also already had this acrylic egg holder, but I'm really bad at keeping up with putting all my eggs inside of it, so doing that. And I wasn't planning on doing my pantry, but I was, since I was already doing all my food, I figured why not? And we do not have like a formal, a formal pantry, I guess. We have two kitchen cabinets that we use for extra non-perishable food storage, as well as a Lazy Susan. So these are the two cabinets that we keep all of our snacky, non-perishable foods in and once again I am pulling everything out from the inside they weren't that horribly disorganized but I knew that I needed to really wipe down the shelves since there were a bunch of crumbs once again I am sorting through everything I have and throwing away anything that is expired or stale and I got these rose gold wired baskets from I think Walmart a couple years ago when I first organized the kitchen so I am just reorganizing and restocking a bunch of these with some snacks that I just picked up at Aldi. Also needed to refill my little olive oil pourer and I also had a couple of empty glass jars in my storage so I decided to use a couple of them for my cat treats just to make it look a little bit nicer in there and of course these two had to come over and get a treat when they heard me doing this One of the shelves in here is always super wobbly and like falling out so I'm trying to fix that and then I am wiping down the surfaces once again with a microfiber cloth and then I am just organizing and placing everything back into the cabinets. Here is a look at my cleaned out fridge. It actually is a couple days later, so it's even more barren than it was the first time, but it is all very nice and clean on all of the drawers and surfaces. Lots of extra space. And then here are what my cabinets look like. Just nice and neat and tidy compared to how they were before. Hopefully this video was able to motivate you to do some of your own cleaning. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below for more organization and home related content. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.